Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see about the cloud spanner demo we are going to see. If you have not seen my uh, previous video about the cloud spanner, please go and watch that video. Then you come to this video, then only you can understand this. Okay, so today we are going to see the demo cloud spanner. How to perform? Today we are going to see how to perform basic operations in cloud spanner by using the Google Cloud Console. We are going to create a cloud spanner instance, database and table, add a schema, write and modify the data. Finally, we are going to run a query. Okay, let's start the lab. So just we have to go to the Google Cloud Console. So here you can see the navigation menu. Just click the navigation menu then you have to go to the cloud spanner so cloud spanner it will be under the databases just click the spanner just you have to click the create instance here we have to give the instance name we have to give the instance name the instance has both a name and an id the name is for the display purpose only the id is a permanent and unique identifier so we have to give the instance name i am giving like a test instance just i am copying from the documentation google documentation so just pasting here test instance so see here automatically that uh, instance id it will be coming okay so if i am removing okay so already we have given that's what it's coming okay test instance automatically this instance id it will be coming automatically so then we have to choose the configuration we have to select regional or multi-regional so i am going with uh, uh, select regional configuration okay okay just we have to select the region and us central i am selecting us central us central i am selecting us central and uh, we have to click create an instance then we have to select the nodes okay like this one it will be okay so here we have to give the nodes so add nodes to increase data throughput queries per second and storage limits affects billing so i can give uh, minimum one nodes we have to give okay so here also we have given node guidance for optimal performance in the in this configuration we recommend provisioning enough nodes to keep high priority cpu utilization under 65 percentage note that cloud spanner performance which is highly dependent on workload schema design and data set characteristics okay now i am going uh, with this node one just click create now now the instance is being created Now the instance is being created instance now created now you can see this test instance has been created successfully now then what we are going to do means we are going to create a database now from the instance details page click create database so now we are going to create a database okay let me copy this database name so here we have to click uh, the create database now just click create database so now we are in this test database only Thank you. 
statements on the coding page of your database. So in the left panel of the cloud platform comes, so click example database to navigate the database details page, then click coding page. So now we are going to click this example DB and here we have to click coding. So now we have to copy this from the query and then select star from our table name. Just enter this uh, SQL queries and click run query. You can get the output now. You can see the output here. Results table, more results like that. You can see the output. The cloud console displays the results of our query. Thanks a lot, friends. We have done our uh, session today. Okay. So actually, uh, I forgot to delete. Okay. Fine. We uh, remove this one. So how to remove? So so that uh, they won't charge, right? So how to remove? We have to delete this uh, instance, right? Okay. So directly we can delete the instance. Deleting an instant instance permanently removes the instance and all its databases. You can't undo this later. Okay. Fine. So I'm copying this test instance and deleting this. Just click delete now. So that uh, they won't charge, right? Yeah. We have to delete this. We have to delete all those things. We have done with the workload spanner lab today. Instance has been deleted. Okay, fine. So if you want, you can check it now. So no problem. So if you want, you can check it again. It's a dashboard you can see here, and uh, and you have to go to that databases. Then click spanner. So there are no instances here. We have done successfully the cloud spanner demo today. Thanks a lot, friends. Thanks for watching this session. This session. So if you have not subscribed my uh, channel, please subscribe my channel so that it will be motivated.